Are you ever playing around with MIDI inside of Studio One and then all of a sudden the note sticks and it just keeps playing and playing and playing and it doesn't stop and then eventually you end up closing Studio One? If that hasn't happened to you, count your blessings, but if it has happened to you, you're not alone. And today I'm going to show you how you can fix it with a simple feature inside of Studio One. If you are a Studio One user, make sure you grab my free vocal presets for Studio One. No third party plugins required, it uses the stock plugins inside of Studio One and you can just get great vocal mixes with a drag and a drop. It is the the simplest thing ever and it just sounds fantastic so now let's jump on into studio one and start fixing some of these stuck notes so here I have an easy session inside of studio one it's just my voice so you can hear me and then an instance of my tie and here I just have one note just so that way we can demonstrate what's going on so sometimes you'll be playing around with MIDI and if you especially if you have a MIDI keyboard sometimes notes start to stick and it'll sound something like this and it just keeps playing and playing and playing and then of course, if it was actually being stuck, if you, even if you stopped, it would still be playing. And even if you unplugged your MIDI keyboard and plugged it back in, it'd still be playing. And sometimes you just have to close the application entirely. But Studio One has a great feature that you can use to actually kill all the notes. Inside of Studio One, you just come up here to Keyboard Shortcuts. And then we are going to look for All Notes Off. And here, you can assign anything you want. I think by default, it's the hashtag key. I had K opened, so I did that. I have a modified version of the Logic keyboard mapping scheme. I switched from Logic to Studio One. If you want to know more about that, you can just click this little card up there. But I had that open. It can be anything you want, honestly. It doesn't have to be K. But K was open for me, so I used it. Then once you enter the key and you assign it, you can click Apply. And then you can click OK. So now, if the same thing is happening and we just have a note that is stuck, I can just press K and it stops the notes entirely. So let's say I have uh, a note that I'm playing on my keyboard. I can do the exact same thing. So I'll just play a note here and then I'll just press K and it stops it entirely and my finger's still on the keyboard. So it makes it super easy to just stop all the notes. It's like a quick refresh for all the MIDI notes and then you can get back into what you were doing. So for a long time, I didn't realize how powerful Mai Tai was and just recently I realized actually how powerful the synth is and how useful it really can be. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, you can just click this video right here. In that video, I show you how powerful Mai Tai is and how I used it in a really cool pop-like track. So you can check that video out there and now as always, Go create.